Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the study. We're going to be doing a video on quite possibly the easiest day trade strategy that you could come across online. I'm going to go share it with you. It's going to not take too long. As long as you understand support resistance levels and if you have a pretty good idea of how to read candlesticks as well, um, you'll have a pretty good time with this strategy and it's very straightforward. Um, some of you that have been following me for some time know that I'm really not a big day trader, but if the opportunity is there, why not take advantage of it, right? It's extra money I can pad onto my long-term investments, which I primarily do, and on top of that, some swing trades here and there that I like to hold three, nine months out. But if you can catch an opportunity on a day trade, why not? So this is how my strategy works. And it's very straightforward. What I like to do is I like to focus on a stock that is uh, generally having a lot of chatter. And there are many ways to go about doing this. I actually do share this in uh, my course. One of the tools that I use, it's free to use. And it's actually going to be StockTwits.com. Yeah. Oh, you heard that right. So you go here, stocktwits.com. Here's a stock. If you go to the main page, you have um, the indexes up to the top left. And then up here, you have trending now. When you have that trending now going off with the 10 or so tickers listed up there, that means that those are the most um, talked about stocks at that moment. And usually when you see those same stocks being listed up there an hour or two or even longer than that during pre-market when the market isn't open yet. And this strategy does revolve around being available for the open market. So 9 o'clock, 9.30 um a.m. Eastern. So what I do is I target these names specifically because it has that driving force. It has that buying and that selling activity that makes it very easy for you to jump into a trade and follow the flow. So I saw that Palantir on um, Friday, this recent Friday, I believe it was September 18th, um, was trending up here and I took a look at the chart and that would be the first step I looked at the chart um, this was the uh, Thursday right here post market uh, pre-market and then this was the trading activity for Thursday I like to look at the pre-market and post-market here this would be Friday on this side and if you notice that during the trading session on Thursday and the pre-market and post-market, you couldn't get past this level of uh, resistance of $28.76. This is a very significant level. $28.76. If this level could be uh, breached to the upside, I knew that this was an opportunity to take a day trade and try to see if I can capture some upside. And when we zoom in on this price here on the chart, let's do that. So we have the pre-market. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here with the option I have here for the 30 call strike expiring next week. I always like to see the trend on the options and you could see it was kind of the same pattern on Thursday. It seems to be having trouble with that 45 cent mark on that specific options contract. So I zoom in here and you can see in the pre-market there was a sell-off in the beginning on the first five minutes. These are five minute candles. A five minute candles on top too. And when we zoom in, we could see that within the first five minutes, and when we look up here, 
you can see that the value of the options contracts dropped quite significantly, all the way down to 30 cents from 42 cents. As soon as I saw them drop to a quarter, and I saw on this second candle, in the second five minutes, this huge green candle, I cannot show it to you right now in real time, but if you are seeing this amount of strength to come all the way from $28, 20 cents, come all the way up here around 2865, pretty much this bullish candle engulfing the previous red candle, that is a very strong bullish wave momentum. You could have entered right off of that uh, entry point because it was just blowing out the selling pressure from the opening first five minutes. And you can see this on the one minute. We could go to the one minute to kind of illustrate that on a better... Uh, here we go. Let me zoom out. And we go here to the open, right? On the one minute. Check this out so you can see what I'm explaining. Here's the selling pressure. Selling pressure. 933, 934, 935, 936, 937. All of a sudden, you have this buying taking over in a huge velocity and a huge move to the upside. As soon as I saw that happen in a minute here, and mind you, I don't use the one-minute candles. It, it's just a lot of information. Uh, have experience with just using the five minutes personally. But I was able to see that velocity pick up on the buying, and I entered at 28 with 46 cents which was about 0.30 here. You can see within those next five minutes, those options contracts appreciated to about 47 cents. And that was because when we go back to the five-day, five-minute candles, look at this enormous... Oh, hold on. Let me zoom out. And here we go. We're back to the trading day. We had that sell-off and then an enormous move for a stock that um, it's not supposed to really move too much. And that's why you have a lower pricing on those options contracts and why the options appreciated so rapidly. And that is the time when you have to take advantage and capitalize on that. So when you capitalize on that, you are now pretty much making a... Um, a gain of 50%, at least if you're trading uh, next week's contracts, which I was in this case. But if you were doing the dailies that expire on the same day, which is extremely risky, you could have generated some really nice returns. Or if you had two weeks out, you could have generated some pretty nice returns too. Um, but whenever you're up on such a big move like that, 50%, that's a huge win. You have to secure those profits. Think about it. If you had a hundred contracts at thirty cents, that's about um, going to be three thousand dollars that you're putting in. And if you could cash out right here at about point fifty, right, fifty cents, that's a two thousand dollar gain right there off of uh, being in a trade for less than five minutes. Um, that's incredible. Take advantage of it. Don't be greedy. That's the beauty of day trading and kind of what it's all about, really. It's about capturing those big power moves. So to review the strategy here, it's very simple. Target a name that has a lot of chatter. Make sure that there is some social media sentiment there that you could play off of it, whether it's to the upside or the downside. In this case, the name was uh, getting a lot of bullish momentum, a lot of positive chatter. And then uh, where the pre-market levels are here, establish the previous market high. The previous market high was $28.76. If you were thinking that the stock was going to go to the lower end, you would then establish the pre-market low. But in this case, it was bullish and I wanted to capture the upside to um, calls or a bullish sentiment. It broke $28.76, which on top of that, the stock reached $29 with 20 cents. That's a pretty big move for a name like this. And 
you have your trade. You're done for the day. Very simple, very easy, very quick. If it doesn't break that level, you get out, you take your loss, keep it small, and you know what? That's it. You save it, you know, on to the next one. On or There will be another day to trade in the market. The market's not going to be going anywhere. And there's always going to be opportunities every day in the market. That's the beauty of the stock market. I'm not a big day trader myself, but I will tell you the few times that I have done day trading, this strategy is incredibly super effective and it is super easy to follow. Guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, um, and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. You can leave a comment. You can email me at david at the trade study .com, And I will see you in the next one.